I did two videos this past week on the China real estate crisis and how I thought it was going to affect the U.S. markets in a very negative way and potentially create a crash. But if you'll look at them, you'll see they didn't get many views. And that's because this isn't something that you as an investor want to think about today. You want to think about how is your stock doing relative to interest rates and inflation and what's it going to do in the next week. And that's where we get into trouble. I referred to the book written about the big short by Michael Berry, where the stock market and, and the government just didn't want to recognize in 2006, 7, and 8 that the banks were going to fail. And now i am finished Ray Dalio's book about the changing world order, where he predicts that China is going to bury the U.S. economy because we aren't managing our affairs well, and we're getting too far in debt. But nobody seems to care. Last September, September 2021, I started talking to you about the inevitable crash of the real estate market in China and how that would bring down the whole Chinese market. And since then, I've done about four other videos on the subject. And now I've seen some better presenters than me uh, do some videos explaining in more detail as to why the Chinese economy has collapsed. I would include Andre Jack, um, the whiteboard, uh, Cascanus Academy, and here are their videos, and then Graham Stephens. They've all done some wonderful videos on why the Chinese economy is going to collapse, and I, you need to see this, because what I want to do in this video is share with you how you can make some tax-free millions of dollars off of this collapse of the Chinese economy that is inevitable. You may not be old enough to remember the dot-com bubble or even the subprime crisis. If you did some research, you'd recognize that's how you make money. When the market reacts to over-exuberance or, or foolishness or a flood of money, whatever it might be, that's when you make money because stocks come down in price and become undervalued and you jump in and you buy them at low prices. Well, you got the same thing going on right now in China. China grew too fast and they did in 30 years what most countries took 200 years to do, and now it's going to collapse. And I've dug into it, and I've learned about it, and I want to share it with younger people because this is where you want to go in and learn how to do some creative things. I'm going to share with you how to short China so that you can make some money, and then I'm going to tell you to put it into a Roth IRA how you so you can take it out tax-free when you reach retirement. That's right. I don't and I won't be buying any Tesla stock. I used to own some. I own quite a bit and it was the largest holding in my portfolio. It went up 100%. But when I decided I wasn't going to be a part of China, uh, I sold my Tesla stock about uh, last November. Part of the reason is I read too much. Uh, I looked at my Audible uh, library just a second ago, and I have over 88 books that I've read in probably the last three years. One of those books was titled Elon Musk. It was written in 2015. I learned about Elon. Uh, Homer convinced me to buy Tesla stock, and I did. But recently, I'm glad I don't own it. And I'll put it in one word. 55% of all Teslas are currently made in China. And China's going down, and I'm afraid Tesla will go down with them. Let's talk more about that. For the past several weeks, I've been negotiating with one of the U.S.'s best uh, brokerage houses to become a sponsor of the channel in hopes that they could bring some knowledge and ex uh, their expertise to my tribe. And I was notified yesterday that they would not be collaborating with me because of my uh, recommendation of shorting uh, China and the use of the Yang, which I have since retracted, and then that some of my thumbnails uh, presented some uh, extraordinary re potential returns that they didn't think were appropriate. And so it gave me the need to do some soul searching and to look and see ex if exactly uh, what I'm projecting is possible. And that's what I want to go because I think this is a mistake on the part of the broker. Uh, I think my projections are accurate and I want to share that with you today. 
In yesterday's video, I shared with you the 12 stocks that achieved in excess of a 1,000% return between 2010 and 2020. They actually ranged from 1,386% to 12,690%. What I want to do today is start a t task between you and I to identify the stocks that are going to do the same thing between 2023 and 2033. It's a task that I think if we put our heads together, we can do it. So I'm going to show you the stocks that I think are going to achieve in excess of a thousand percent return. And then I'm going to ask you for your help in adding to it, subtracting from it. But I think if we work together, we can identify them and make a bunch of money.